Hey, what's up Dextools family? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the new Dextools feature that will help you find new gems, that will help you find tokens that pass your checklist, and a lot more. Also, I wanted to note that you can look at daily gainers, daily losers, and of course, all the hot pairs on the networks Dextool has integrated. Here is the new feature that I wanted to mention. It's custom filters. You can make custom filters for your searches now and you can add as many as you want. Let's go ahead and make the first filter together. We're going to name this Gem Finder 1. We'll go through all this together and then we'll make another filter after. So token type, hide pools with stable and native tokens like wrapped Ethereum and USDC. Let's do that. High tokens without social networks. As this is a gem finder, they may be, they may be late with adding their social networks or just even making them. So I'll leave that actually unclicked. All chains, all exchanges. I want to see total liquidity of five thousand or less. Volume I'll keep empty. Um, swaps I'll keep empty. Total market cap I want to see probably ten thousand or less. And everybody can have different you know, inputs. You can be looking for something specific or you could be looking for these low caps, these very high risk coins. I also want to mention this is very high risk. You have to do your research and make sure you know what you're getting into. Dex score, I'll also leave it at no minimum selected just in case it's a new coin and it hasn't had the opportunity to build its Dex score up. For contract though, I will go without warnings because I don't want to risk my hard earned money. Pool created, you can do less than or more than. We're going to do less than uh, and we'll switch that to months. I want to do less than one month. I want to look for new tokens and then you have the gem discovery option here set as a default filter. So we can take a quick uh, closer look at this and this is you can set only one filter as default which will be your gems discovery filter. Check the results on the Dex board and in the mobile apps widgets. So we're going to make a second filter which will be our gems discovery filter and we'll take a look at that. So let's make these changes and then you can see here we have our gem finder one and then you have all the pairs that actually pass that checklist we've made and then it's going to show you them. So the first one is NVT. You can take a look at you know the 24 hour percentage gain or loss, the Dex score, their contract here. It was created four days ago. It has $13 million in volume, 13K in swaps, 170K in liquidity, and then its market cap is 730K. So if we're looking for smaller market caps, we can toggle pretty much all of these and switch it from highest to lowest. So we're looking at the lowest market cap right now, and that is C Chain on Uniswap with an $11,000 market cap. And you can see it's just exploded today, but the score isn't the greatest. So you guys can start looking through these and you know building strategies and building filters that fit your needs. I mean, like I mentioned, this is very high risk, but this puts you in front of a, a lot of new tokens that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. And as I mentioned, you can make a ton of filters. So let's go ahead and make a new filter. This is going to be our gem discovery one. So let's put gem, dis gem discovery. We're also going to hide pools with stable and native, all chains, all exchanges. I'll leave everything pretty much blank because I just want to find gems. We will actually uh, do the pool created and let's do less than three months because I want to take a look at as many gems as we can. And then you can see here we have all of these gems. Also, I'd like to look at smallest market cap and then look forward. So you can take a look at all these gems. Maybe we'll take a look at this one right here. It has a decent score at 75. We can take a look at all of the pool information, total liquidity, $37,000, total volume. And then you can look at all the transactions and all that great stuff. And of course you have the chart and all the tools you need to chart up and even make a swap here. If you think that this is a great pair and this is the gem you're looking for, then you can actually buy it on Dex Tools through their aggregator, getting you the best price. The price action on this chart isn't looking the greatest, so I would probably avoid it. And we can go back to Dex Board and keep looking through our filters. So you see we have Gem Finder 1, we have gem discovery and why not let's make a third one. So this is maybe like the safe gem finder. 
you know, because the other ones are sort of riskier. So we'll do the same things here. Let's go all chains, all exchanges, total liqui liquidity. Let's do 100,000. I'll keep volume and swaps uh, on the low end. The total market cap, we could do 500,000. Dex score, we want it medium or higher. We don't want any contracts with warnings. And then we can do like um, less than a year. So the contract was made uh, within the year actually. So it's semi brand new. And let's go ahead and save that filter. So this is our third filter as you saw. We have the risky gem finder one. We have the next risky one, which is gem discovery. And that's, this is a more um, less risk save gem finder filter right here. So you see we have Matic up front. We're gonna go from lowest volume and take a look at Keeley that is up 5% today. It has a DEX score of 88. It was only created six days ago. And if we take a look at liquidity, 360K, pretty decent. And then total market cap, $2.4 million. So still small for it to grow. We'll go ahead and go to the Pair Explorer, which will allow you to do everything from charting. You can use DEX swap and find the best price. And take a look at this. This is on a huge run. And of course, you always need to do your research to figure out if this is like not a scam, and who's the team behind it, what do they offer, and all that great stuff. So I just showed you guys how to make three different filters. And you guys can make as many as possible, play with all the different combinations, and go crazy. You might find some awesome gems. And if you do, share them in the comments below. If you have any questions, post them below. And we'll see you guys in the next week's Dex Tools Academy episode.